A daymaker is someone that goes through life with the intention of making someone else's day and the priority in your life being that you have an opportunity to touch people in small and big ways on a daily basis and living with that intention uh, and going out and, and touching people in that way is a, it's a really magical. You, you end up living your life with perfect moments. One, two, three, four. I really looked at how I could fill my roles as a father, as a husband, boss, uh, hairstylist, and really looked at how I could interact with people in my life. And that's, the book really, Life as a Daymaker, is just that. It's how do you live your life by making people's day and making that a, really a priority in your life. <laughs> See you. Where are we going okay. today? We're going on the road and we're taking the Project Daymaker RV with us. We're going to be serving people in need at homeless shelters, Ronald McDonald houses, and making their day by providing beauty services to them. So we're going to take it on the road and we're going on a national tour. I told Josh we were going to give him the best haircut he's ever had here. He was excited about that. We serve 48 families on any night, any given night, and all of our families are here because their children have a critical or life-threatening illness, and they're being treated at one of the Twin Cities hospitals. Hey, buddy. How you doing? These are parents, for the most part, who don't do anything for themselves. Every minute of their lives is dedicated to their children. So for people to come in and just pay attention to them, give a haircut, a makeover, and make somebody just feel special again is really a treasure. I think most of us here look so ragged all the time because everybody's so tired, you don't have time to do anything with your hair. And it's nice to not look, feel like you look so bad. Does that tickle your feet? Ladies and gentlemen, owner of Jute Salon Spas and author of Life as a Daymaker, please welcome David Wagner. <laughs> Thank you. Every company has a mission statement, and our uh, company, Jute, uh, means to uplift humanity and serve others. It comes from the Japanese word Juten, which means to refill. And we have what we call a noble purpose, which is to serve and replenish by being daymakers. And the magic in that is that we have 400 employees that touch 10 people every day. It's wonderful. This is fun. Whether you're serving tea or cutting someone's hair, having a noble purpose in what you do gets you out of bed in the morning. It's not about me at all. It's about the people that I'm helping. And it's about making their day, you know? Totally. Because when I go home, my feet might be sore, but prop them up and a smile knowing that what I've done <sighs> makes somebody else happy. And I remember this 10-year-old who had literally literally had her hair in braids her whole life. And I remember us taking them, taking them out. It took us about three hours. And when she looked in the mirror, she just couldn't believe it. I mean, I, I almost, I choked up. And uh, it really made me feel good. You know, many people go through life with conditions attached when they give something away of themselves. And I, I call that palm up where there's always a condition to it. A daymaker goes through life sharing their light and sharing their joy palm down where there's no strings attached. And when you go through life and you're dropping those deposits in life, you actually fill yourself up with energy versus being depleted of it. By making somebody's day, it makes my day because I get back what I give out. And if I have a smile on my face and giving out good energy, I get it back twofold. The nice thing about the, the, the concept of daymaking is that it attracts daymakers. If you're around a bunch of givers, you're going to get. It was shortly after I coined the term daymaker that there was a woman that came in for a hairstyle. A few days later is when daymaking really pierced my soul. I got this, this letter, this note from my client from the hospital. Dear David, I'm writing to thank you for the time together on Tuesday. You see, the reason I came to see you was because I wanted to look beautiful for my own funeral. I was planning to commit suicide later that day. My time with you was very special. I not only looked beautiful, I felt beautiful. 
Your caring nature gave me hope that life could be better. I'm now getting professional help to get my life back. Thank you for being there without knowing that you were. You're an angel. Love, Jolene. And when I, when I got that, it, I still, this was 1986, and I still get chills when I, when I read that because it, it showed me the impact that I could have on someone's life. She, to me, I did, her, I, I did her hair for three years. I had no idea that she was at that place in her life. And uh, to be able to affect someone as profoundly as that uh, really woke me up as to the power of day making. There's a grassroots movement occurring around day making that's really powerful. And it started in the salon industry, and there's, there's thousands and thousands of stylists around the country that have gravitated toward putting Daymaker on their business card, but it's grown so much bigger than that, and it's not about making someone's day as a hairdresser, it's really just making someone's day. That has a knot in there. I see it working within the community, within the schools, within the hospitals, and uh, it creates the ripple effect that David talks about, because Day making goes on here at the house as well. Mom's a tag girl. Okay, where's the treat? My kids are natural day makers. They make my day every day, whether it's just a smile when they come in in the morning and they're all full of life, or just little jokes that they tell about school when they come home and telling me about the best thing that happened to them that day. They have this natural optimism that makes my day. You're right, Daddy. <laughs> Coming home and, and embracing that is so, it's, it's magical for me. that my legacy is that I was able to show people how simple it was to do small things with great love and that the pendulum that's been swung over because of 9-11 and all of the insane things going on in the world right now, we have the power to be day makers and swing it the other way. Will you smile for me so I can take a picture of how pretty you are getting your hair done today? One, two, three. That is what I need. Today has been extremely emotional. It's been a great day at Ronald McDonald House. I've met some fabulous families. And uh, I'm gonna get choked up talking about it. But uh, I'm very, very fortunate. Today's my birthday. And I have a great, um, what, a, what a way to spend your birthday, you know, helping people. And I've met a lot of people that'll stay in my mind and my heart for a long time, probably forever. Whenever you have someone's attention, you have the opportunity to either convince them that it's a cold, frightening place or that the world is full of love and joy. And to me, being full of love and joy is being a daymaker. <laughs>